Hey, hey, what's up, YouTube? Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to forensically wipe your hard disk drive. So let's say, for example, that I have test, which is my G drive here. This is a hard disk drive, and say if I wanted to delete all the files on there, maybe if you're computer savvy, you'll know that if you right-click it, you can click Format, and that will essentially erase everything on the hard drive. And if you're thinking that's good enough, you're wrong. So the reason why that form of thinking is wrong is because whenever you delete a file or say format a drive, you're basically telling the operating system that there are no files on there, when in reality they are still present. And the reason for this is because hard disk drives are made up of magnetic platters that have two states, either one or zero, that are compressed of millions of bits that are in either one of two states, which are one or zero. So if you're deleting a file, all you're doing is just telling the operating system that the file doesn't exist and that that space on the hard drive can then be rewritten. But the file is still there. So what we're going to do is show you how to completely wipe the hard drive by replacing all the bits with zeros. So to do that, you're going to have to download either one of two programs or both of them. Um, I already covered CCleaner in one of my other videos, and the other one that we'll be using is Eraser. So I'll put download links for them in the description. They are both free programs, of course. So let's get to it. We're going to start off with program number one here, which is CCleaner. Um, in order to wipe your hard drive, what you're going to want to do is go down to click tools and then we're going to go all the way to the bottom to drive wiper. And the first thing here, we're not going to be wiping the free space only. Instead, we're going to wipe everything out just to make sure it's secure. And then for security, one pass is simply not enough. If you really want your files to be completely permanently gone, I would go with the very complex overwrite, which is 35 passes. Even seven passes here is pretty much good enough. The FBI themselves use about seven to 35 passes to overwrite their hard drives. So for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna click seven. And then here are the list of devices that are connected with my computer. As I showed you earlier before, it was the G drive. So just click that and then click wipe. And once you click that, it's going to show you a progress bar, and then it will let you know when it's complete. I'm not going to do that simply for the sake of the video. So we're going to go ahead and try program number two, which is Eraser right here. Again, this is another free program that you can download, and I'll put the links for that in the description of this video. So pardon the jump cut there. I had to clear out the program just so that we could get a fresh start here. So in order to wipe the drive with this, you're going to want to click this down arrow next to Erase Schedule, and we're going to be creating a new task and that will bring up this window right here. So you don't need a task name here and you want to run it manually and we're going to click add data and then this program will also allow you to wipe files or folders off of the hard drive as well but we're not going to be doing that for the sake of this video we're going to be clicking drive partition and here's where you click the eraser method Again, you have the simple seven passes, or you can do the Gutman 35 pass. And then finally at the bottom here, you can select a drive. So make sure that you check the drive because automatically, for some reason, it wants me to do my D drive, which is where all my files are saved. But for this video, we're going to click Test G, and then click OK, and click OK one more time. And then it's going to show up in your eraser schedule. So all you do is just click it, or uh, right click it actually, and then click Run Now. So then here on the right side, you're going to see your progress bar. For the sake of this video, actually, I'm just going to cancel it. So now you may also be wondering, what about solid state drives? Well, unfortunately, solid state drives are a completely different technology, and this eraser method won't fix that. In fact, what it will do is end up hurting the lifespan of your solid state drive since it's writing so many passes through it. There is a different way of doing it. It is possible, but it's a lot more complicated and that actually merits its own video. So I may in the future do a video on how to do that. If I do when you're watching this video, feel free to check below in the video description and I'll link to that. But again, since it's just so completely different, I figured that it would merit another video. Anyways guys, hope this helped. If you have any comments or concerns, just put them in the comments below. If this helped you, please feel free to give a like. That does help out a lot. And if you want more content like this, also feel free to subscribe. Alright, thanks guys. Peace out.